Welcome back to our channel guys. Today's topic is all about the articulation of form, theory of design that's in architecture. So what is articulation of form anyway? In art and in architecture, it is a method of styling the joints in the formal elements of architectural design. Through degrees of articulation, each part is united with the whole work by means of a joint. In highly articulated works, its part is defined precisely and stands out clearly. The articulation of a building reveals how the parts fit into the whole by emphasizing its part separately. Differentiating adjoining planes with a change in material color, texture, or pattern. Number two, developing corners as distinct linear elements of independent of abutting planes. Removing corners to physically separate neighboring planes. Lighting the form to create sharp contrast in tonal value along edges and corners. Since articulation of form depends on the great degree on how its surfaces meet its other corners, how these edge condition are resolved is critical to the definition and clarity of a form. For a corner to be formally active, there must be more than slight deviation in the angle between the adjoining planes. Since we constantly search for regularity and continuity, Within our field of vision, we tend to regularize or smooth our slight irregularities into the forms that we see. For example, a wall, a wall plane that is bent only slightly will appear to be single flat plane perhaps. With a surface imperfection, a corner would not be perceived. Corners define the meeting of two planes if the two planes are simply touched and the corner remains unadorned. The presence of the corner will be depend on the visual treatment of the adjoining surfaces. This corner condition emphasizes the volume of form. What we are looking here guys is the corner of our masterpiece or our building. In every design, the corner should be look good. That's why we are talking about here articulation of corners. A corner condition can be visually reinforced by introducing a separate and distinct element that is independent of the surfaces it joins. This element articulates the corner as a linear condition, defines the edges of the adjoining planes, and becomes a positive feature of the form. Just observe guys how the architects design each corner of the building. There are a lot and different ways to do it. There is a curb, there is a sharp edge, there is somewhat uh, slant treatment on every corner. Okay, While a corner can be articulated by simply contrasting the surface qualities of adjoining planes, or obscured by layering their or their joining with optical pattern our perception of its existence is also affected by the loss of perspective and the quality of light that illuminates the form rounding of the corner emphasizes the continuity of the bounding surfaces of a form in neither plane is extended to define the corner a volume of space created to replace the corner. This corner condition deteriorates the volume of the form. Number 7. If an opening is introduced to one side of the corner, just like in the picture guys, observe it carefully, one of the planes will appear to be bypass the other. The opening dis diminishes the corner conditions weakens the definition of the volume within the form. The surface articulation Our per perception of the shape, size, scale, proportion, and is its visual weight of a plane is influenced by the surface properties as well as its 
visual context. A distinct contrast between the surface color of a plane and that of the surrounding field can be clarify its shape or it can clarify while modifying its tonal value can either increase or decrease its visual weight okay guys so there is an importance between the surrounding background and the color of your building there must be a good contrast a frontal view reveals the true shape of the plane as in the picture oblique views distort it elements of known size within uh, within the visual context of a plane can aid our perception of its size and scale texture and color together affect the visual weight just like in the picture guys directional or oversized optical patterns can distort the shape or exaggerate proportion of a plane okay elements of form defining space overhead plane wall plane base plane elevated plane depressed plane vertical plane l-shaped plane parallel plane u-shaped plane and plane closures the horizontal plane base plane seems to be figured out when there is a perceptible change in color or texture with edge definition with surface articulation example the lawn carpet and pavement elevated base plane elevating creates a specific domain if surface characteristic continue up across the elevated plane then the elevated one will appear part of the surrounding plane if, uh, if edge condition are articulated by a change in form color texture then the field will become distinct plateau that is separated from surroundings depressed base just like in the picture that is a roman amphitheater a vertical surface of depression establishes boundaries it remains integral part the space is distinct used for separation the overhead plane it is similar to the trees as give us the sense of enclosure defines filed space between itself and the ground plane it just define the boundary of the field also offers protection roof plane can be hidden from view by wall can be single or many can extend outwards or overhang can be elevated to allow breeze to pass through the ceiling plane can reflect the form of a structural system can be detached from roof suspended under side of an overhead can be manipulated to define and articulate spaces form can be manipulated to control the quality of light sound within the space the vertical plane it has frontal qualities they can differ in form color or texture to articulate different spatial conditions provides little or none or no sense of enclosure and it defines the edges of spatial fields allow vista visual continuity separate one space from another the height of the vertical plane relative to our body height and the eye level is the critical factor that affects the ability of the plane to visually describe spaces the l-shaped plane generates volume of space from its center outward as diagonal the parallel plane defines the volume of space in between that is oriented ax actually towards open end u-shaped plane defines the volume that is primarily oriented towards the open end plane includes your vertical plane on all sides establish boundaries of an introverted and influence the field of space around the enclosure well thank you so much guys for your time and listening and viewing and understanding the video and at the end of the video there will be questions for you to answer hang on
right, so guys, here is your activity today, designing every corner of this figure numbered one, two, five. Okay? So what you are going to do is uh, make a building that has a corner like of that number one, like of that number two, number three. So therefore, you will draw five buildings with uh, the similar or with different styles of corners just shown in the example okay so i'll see your artwork or or i'm gonna see your work or drawings maybe three days from now send it to our google classroom by a hand in or directly to our email and don't forget subscribe and make a lot of comments in every video because that comment will serve as your attendance that's our yt youtube channel okay guys comment on the youtube channel for your attendance and you will be noticed thank you so much ciao for now